The Bible says that people who don't believe that God raised Jesus from the dead are going to hell. If the deciding factor were how well we behaved on earth, none of us would make it. Does the Bible say that the homosexual man is going to hell? What does it say about the transgender man? When your little boy or girl gets to be about three years old, you're going to find out whether or not you're raising a transgender child. Do they like things that are marketed toward girls? Or do they like things, toys, clothes that are marketed toward boys? When hit puberty, they're going to learn what other hormones attract them to the same sex or the opposite sex. You've seen the Shawshank Redemption. Andy is about to get raped by some men. And he says, I don't suppose it would help if I told him that I'm not homosexual. Red says, they're not homosexual either. You see, what one does sexually does not determine whether or not one is gay. A heterosexual man who sleeps with another man is not living the way that God designed him to be. A homosexual man who sleeps with a woman is also not living naturally, not living the way that God designed him to be. Doesn't the Bible say something about homosexuals? Well, it did not until 1946. Look at the King James Version. It's not in there. We did not even conceive of sexual identity before the 1800s. The Bible doesn't say a word about men and women living the way that God designed them to be, living in a natural way. It does say something about women and men living in an unnatural way, the way that God did not design them to be. Despite all of this, are you homosexual or are you transgender is not the right question. Do you believe in the resurrection is the question. If you do not, someone else's gender, someone else's sexual identity is not what you need to be concerned about.